Uh, well, that was extremely loud. Um, and for some reason, my uh, my mute button isn't working. That's uh, that's interesting too. Well, hello. Give me one moment <laughs> to ponder what's what's up with that, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, and then come back over here, and then. No, mute button not working. Does that mean the stream deck's not working? Let's see. Ah, well, it is working. Texas One Flyboy, welcome on in. Good to see you. Um, ha. Okay, well, not going to worry about the mute button for today. Mute, mute button not working. Least of my worries for, uh, at the moment. Uh, given that I'm here streaming under duress, as it were. Uh, let me say hi to... Oh, well, actually, before I say hi uh, to folks, let me say thank you for a couple of things that happened uh, as we got started here. Monster came in uh, cheering. A hundred bits, Monster. Thank you so, so very much. I appreciate it a great deal. And uh, then we got a massive, massive raid. A huge raid. Possibly the biggest raid we've ever had. 69 viewers. How appropriate for a Sim Caesar raid. It just doesn't get any more apropos of Sim Caesar than a 69 person uh, raid. So welcome on in, everybody. Great to have you here. And uh, then, then let me uh, let me say hi to, uh, to you, you, you wonderful, wonderful folks. It's so great to have you here. Texas One Flyboy. Uh, as mentioned, uh, great to uh, great to see you. Um, and also, also aforementioned uh, would be Monster. Hi, Monster. And Washcrank uh, is here. I'm assuming uh, you came in on the raid, Washcrank, and I see that you redeemed uh, the love command. Uh, as soon as we get to the, as soon as we get through the uh, the greetings, I will definitely uh, play the uh, play the uh, uh, the love command for you. And uh, my apologies that uh, didn't have quite the uh, usual amount of time to uh, go through the pre-stream checklist. So muting the phone is one of the things. That did not happen. Let me make sure it's uh, entirely mute. Oh, yeah, turn off notifications too. Okay, there we go. Okay, continuing to slip into the saddle <laughs> and see if I can get uh, at all comfortable. Pezzy is here. Hi, Pezzy. Good to see you. And Cyber Whiskey is here. I, Sim Caesar, have you heard my welcome sound for? Cyber whiskey. I don't know if you have. It's derivative, you know, or at least inspired. But I, I just, I, I, I like the voice uh, much better. Cyber whiskey. Great to see you, and welcome on in. And oh my goodness, ladies, gentlemen, and all gentle beings, accept no substitutes. It's the one, the only, the real Tyraga. And oh my goodness, Katie Patton is here. Oh, and looky there, barbecue beef is here. Howdy, barbecue. And oh, my friend T. Miller is here. Thank you so much for what you shared, uh, T. Miller. I appreciate. It. I just I, that's just good to know, and I'm glad you glad that you said something about that. And welcome on in, T. Miller. And oh, looky there, Kevin. It's Kevin. It's one of the Kevins. It's K. W. for life, Kevin.
And goodness gracious, it's not just any old Nebo, it's c c c c cold Nebo. And oh my gosh, that seems to be uh, everybody who has chatted uh, so far. So hello, welcome on in, welcome to the Peter Mooney channel. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I had absolutely no intent, plan or intention uh, to stream today, but uh, you know, sometimes some some <laughs> some people are born to to stream, and others have streaming thrust upon them. <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of what happened today. But, uh, you know, it's a, whether it's a centipede or a daisy chain, uh, you know, Sim Caesar and Scotty Dottie, two of my favorite humans, uh, you know, what, uh, what's, what's one, what is one to do, really? I mean, really. So uh, what I did have planned for today was uh, some troubleshooting uh, because after nearly a month of rock-solid stability in Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, over the last week, uh, it's been just a, a constant, uh, just constant crashes to desktop. And uh, then over the last, there was constant crashes to desktop started and a few days into the frequent crashes to desktop, they started being um, peppered here and there with blue screens of death. So um, it's probably something beyond the simulator itself, because uh, I did get one CTD last yesterday evening in uh, JR East train simulator. So that, uh, that points to something not specific to Microsoft Flight Simulator, but you know, we're gonna, so to, so the, my plan for today was to do the, the basic routine of troubleshooting for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I have emptied my community folder. I have an, an absolutely pristine new empty community folder with nothing in it. And then I also went to the, uh, the folders where the TDS uh, GTNXI 750 is stored and renamed those to disable uh, the 750s. So I do believe that what we are looking at here on the screen is Microsoft Flight Simulator in its, its, its next to most stripped down to nothing state. The, the, the one further state is to run in safe mode. And safe mode will uh, exclude anything in the community folder, but it will also exclude marketplace add-ons uh, such as the Carinado Mooney M20 Ovation that we're looking at. Uh, so I did, it's, this is not safe mode, so I do have the add-ons that I bought in the marketplace, but only, uh, only those as far as add-on goes. So I guess we're just gonna, you know, try flying somewhere and see if we get a CTD or not. Uh, so that's the, that's the general plan. I was going to say something else about that, but while I try to remember what the something else I was going to say about that uh, is, I should I have remembered uh, that I should ask you. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun if you win. Uh, so we'll we'll see about that. Um, let's see, what else was there? Oh, you know, I was wondering, do I have... Oh, no, I think I have to put that on the stream deck if I want to be able to hear it because... Oh, well, so, so, well, so, one, let's see. Before we do anything else, let's head on over here where... Hi, it's me! I don't know if the, if the voice was familiar or not, but um, <laughs> there's the face in case you uh, had any questions about who was here. Uh, wrong stuff, yes, thank you, exclamation point ticket to get yourself entered into the giveaway at the end of the stream. We are going to give away a free sub to the Peter Mooney channel, or if the winner of the drawing is already a subscriber here, I will gift you a sub to any channel on Twitch, provided you pick a channel that offers subscriptions and one to which you are not currently subscribed. Uh, so there's that. Ticket. Texas one, you did, you did hear ticket. Yes, you heard ticket. Um, and, uh, yes. Um, what was that other thing? You know, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to take one moment just to scan the rest of the pre-stream checklist that I didn't get to, uh, just in case there's anything else about to bite me, uh, then maybe we can head it off instead. Um, right, we did that. That's good. 
Yes, yes, yes. Did all those. Uh, yes, that's done. Um, yeah, ba -da -ba. Okay. So then this. No. Yes. No, 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 no. No. So that's all fine. Um, oh, I didn't do that, but it'll be fine. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes, okay. We're almost down to where it says press, uh, press start streaming. <laughs> uh, so there's, uh, right, we don't do with any of the, we don't do those anymore, but, uh, they're still on here. And then there's that, I, yeah, I soak my, my oh, oh, I did not, aha, I did not mute the stream on the monitor where I, where I monitor. So you may have been having some echoing going on. Sleaze it, baby! Sleazy, get yourself a ticket for the giveaway. Everybody else, exclamation point, ticket to get yourself entered. And let's see, what, uh, is there any? Okay, so that, uh, that's good. So that's the checklist. That can go away. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's just fine. Alrighty then. Um, I guess maybe we're. I'm, I'm lo if anybody wants to fly along, everybody is welcome. Oh, has somebody already joined? Let's see. I might have tags turned off. Oh, no. Clearly, I have tags turned on, and tags are not. Oh, I gotta click over here to. Well, hang on. Do I have tags turned on? I should. Oh no. Let's see. Okay. Yep. There's a tag. And there's the off. Okay, so that's tags on. That's good to know. And I that must be uh, an AI plane uh, parked next to me there. I, AI traffic should be off, so I don't know why there would be a drone parked there, but but there it is. Okay, so I'm uh, I if you want to join in, I am at uh, John Wayne, Orange County, Santa Ana, and. Uh, Oh, Tyro. Oh, yeah. Good. Yes, excellent. Yes, excellent. Set it up. You get the day off tomorrow, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah, it would be lovely to have you fly along, even though at this point I have no idea uh, where we're flying to. But we're flying from John Wayne. Um, I might. Uh, so the next the next uh, I rating uh, that I am due for is the I-7, which uh, is uh, Catalina, yes, called Nebo, exactly correct. Um, so we might uh, we might fly that route, um, with, but without uh, ATC, just as kind of like a uh, a practice run, if you will. Um, let's uh, hop inside the. Hey, Nigel, it's all right. <laughs> Welcome on in. Good to see ya. So, um, I guess the first thing I am, or the next thing I'm wondering about, oh good, Nige, thanks for getting a ticket. Anybody else? Again, let me, only nine people. We have 48 people uh, here in the in the channel, and only nine have gotten a ticket for the giveaway. Uh, apparently, we have 39 people in here who just don't like free stuff. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I mean, suit yourself. You do you. <laughs> if it were me... I would be getting a ticket for the giveaway, but that's just, you know, my silly expectations that other people, uh, you know, like what I like, uh, which is rarely the case. Um, so the next thing I am wondering about here is about our radio stack, because as, uh, as, as mentioned, for those who just came in, um, we got no add-ons. Uh, so no, no TDS GTNX i750, which makes me very sad because, and mainly I love it. I mean, I love it for all its GPS functionality, but I really, really, really love it for its radios because they're so easy to set when you can type in the number instead of having to fiddle with a little knob. So uh, so I want to look at uh, what our options are, uh, if we if we have any. Show pilot and co-pilot, co-pilot door and baggage door closed, have you all that, that's all fine. So no, so there's this or there's this, and uh, the PMS isn't here either, so I guess 
there's not any other options. So it's we are we are stuck with the 530. Uh, so we will just we will we will deal with that. So we got uh, what do we got here then? That means we got nav two down here, and looks like we got a DME. That's good. We might want that. Um, so I have. Um, studiously avoided learning the 530 because I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Not going to learn it and you can't make me, you can't make me, you can't make me. Um, but apparently today you can make me. Um, so sad, sad day uh, in my life at any rate. So uh, how do you, so how do you get, so I guess you uh, you switch these by, is it, uh, is it, is this the oh, com frequency swap? Okay, there's that. And then is this nav down here? It's okay, so yep, that's our nav frequencies, so that's fine. Is this anything? Oh, volume, but it looks like that doesn't actually. Oh, does that actually do anything? If you, it doesn't look like it does anything. Well, no, I guess not. Okay. Um, so presumably, is this? Uh, okay, yeah. So standby frequency. And is it uh, the hundreds down here and the, well, we're not going to use these today, so I guess I don't have to, but yeah, it looks like that. So that's the, that's the whole numbers. And then this is to the right of the decimal. Okay. Well, I at least see how that works. And then I have no idea what any of this is over here. Oh, well, actually we are, we are probably, we are going to use nav one, I guess, if we're going to uh, do kind of like the I seven uh, rating, we'll, we will need some nav frequencies. Uh, oh, good lord, are we going to put in a flight? No, we're not going to put in a flight plan because we're going to fly it uh, by the needles. So I don't have to worry about learning any of that mess over there, which is probably good. Um, and I like having the, the uh, data fields on over here, but that's also probably uh, GPS functionality and therefore, according to my mentor, cheating. Um, certain, no, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. So, um, okay. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> M. Glickman, thank you so much for, for sharing the love with the community and reminding me I owe Wash Crank, um, the love command or, well, so, Wash crank. Oh, good. You you are still here. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Um, I can. We can either do it again now, or we can wait and do it. Well, actually, it won't. It won't even let me do it on the cooldown because. Oh, I'm Glickman. Um, we'll have to. Uh, let me see if the. Uh, okay. So let's uh, here. Let me. Uh, well, we'll. Um, I'm trying to. I don't remember how long the cooldown is. It used to let me do it. I used to be not subject to the cooldown, but something changed. And now, uh, okay, let's see. So there's M. Glickman, love, and reject one. Okay, that should that should have put your points back. Um, oh, wash crank. Okay, that's great. Well, so when the cooldown expires, somebody remind me. Somebody in, in like five minutes... Somebody uh, use the exclamation point 78 command, although that may be limited to mods. I'm not sure now who who can and can't do an exclamation point 78. Uh, but Tyro, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that a great deal. Wednesday, fun day, fly along day. Absolutely, yay. Um, so if, if somebody would remind me, though, in about five minutes, I will redeem... Uh, I'll, I'll do a freebie with a vocal accompaniment uh, for my friend M. Glickman. And then uh, if you remind me again five minutes after that, we'll do another one for, uh, for Wash Crank. Um, okay, so that will have us caught up. Why can I not tell where this button is? Whoa, is positioned. I want it on remote. Oh, good. And it's, and it's on remote. Oh, no, now it's on remote. Okay. There we go. So that's that thing set. Um, so I guess we should probably, um, 
look up some frequencies and kind of land this flight. Huh. I was thinking I would not use Navigraph today. Uh, yeah, uh, just because it's another add-on that has memory overhead. I took all the... There's a there's I had three different Navigraph things that were launching when the com with com the computer startup, so I took those out of the computer startup routine, so there to rule them out. Uh, so the plan was to not use Navigraph today. So I guess that means Sky Vector. Uh, let me go over here, and uh, we can. Uh, yeah, let's uh, just see what we get with this. So let's go, uh, let's go flight plan. Should be flight plan here somewhere. Where is flight plan? <laughs> oh, is it because I'm not signed in? Wait, let me, uh, let me get signed in. That's probably it. Wow! Complete freedom. Always happy to welcome in complete freedom. <laughs> Good to see you. We're doing some uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator troubleshooting today. Uh, we're running a pure vanilla sim with no add-ons to see if that uh, uh, resolves our crash to desktop problem that I've been having for a week or so now. Um, what is up with Sky Vector and not? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I was logged in. I just had to be on a map page to get flight plan uh, up here. So uh, there we go. So we're going to go from SNA to, is it Avalon? Is it AVL? No, that's Asheville. That's a 1,700 miles. That's a little long for this. Um, it's, we'll just, uh, let's go find it visually. It's right over here somewhere. Whoopsie. Is it that one? AVX. Aha. Well, I had several of the letters correct. Uh -huh. There we go. All righty. And then while we're here, let's go to um, here and here and here and here. And I7. There we go. So, uh, it's supposed to be, we just go to the, um, I've, uh, I did read through this and do some preparing. Um, oh, so, <laughs> I'm Clickman. It's, uh, it's exclamation point 78, but, uh, now that you have reminded me, let me just go see if I can redeem that, uh, now. Get started with channel points. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's going to let me do it. And my mute button doesn't work, so coughs are going to take longer than usual today. Okay. Me, 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 me. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Oh, club class, welcome on in. Good to see you. It has been a long, uh, yes. Uh, oh, you always seem to be asleep. Well, I'm now famous on the Sim Caesar channel for sleeping there, so feel feel free to come, come by the come by the Sim Caesar channel anytime he, he, he's streaming, and we can curl up and take a nap together. <laughs> um, all right, but uh, M. Glickman, uh, here you are once more uh, with feeling. Where is love? Does it fall from skies above? Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been dreaming of? There we go. All righty. And so then, yeah, give me another five minutes, wash crank, and we will uh, redeem yours as well. Thalo 42. Thalo blue. I hope you're not Thalo blue today. I, I don't know if you're Thalo green or, uh, or, or what, but I hope you're not Thalo blue. 
Oh, Twitch is warning me in 20 seconds there's an ad break coming for those of you who are not subscribed. My apologies in advance. I have made them as infrequent and brief as possible. But uh, so it should be only 30 seconds and we'll have you back. All I'll be doing in the meantime is trying to um, uh, find the route uh, on here because we're it's I know it's. Uh, oh, right. It's the VOR. Um, it's, it's this VOR approach is the thing. So I think we take a Victor Airway over there. We don't go to Seal Beach or anything, do we? No. Uh, right. It's just, I think it's, I think we just file direct uh, there, and then we request the uh, VOR DMEB approach from the Catalina uh, VOR. So we'll see what, uh, see what that is. Oh, Thalo, yeah, I, bum I bumped the volume on it. So to, to make it more audible because you know when it's bob ross you really want to hear what he's saying and and we couldn't so an odd day in and out for a bit okay popping to say hello all right oh thank you thalo 42 well i'm glad i'm glad you popped in to say hi all righty oh and texas one flyboy is lurking for a meeting okay all right okay so while the there goes the ad break while folks are gone let me just take a quick skim of this because i need to I just need to remember what we're what it is we're supposed to do. Um, yeah, with that approach, right? We're gonna swap to the CTAF to talk to them when need be. Right, circling portion of the approach. You got to stay within three miles. You can cancel in the air if we can. SNA AVX. Oh, here we go. Filing. Yeah, it is Victor Twenty One. There we go. Okay. So that's what I was looking for here. Oh, so when we are going to Seal Beach. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, although they might, uh, I don't know why that's open. They might give us, um, they might just go ahead and uh, vector us to the airway prior to uh, our actually getting all the way to Seal Beach because Seal Beach all the way up here. What? Is it, Seal Beach is at the, wait. Um, I don't think that's right. There's a, I mean the uh, so okay. So where is the? Why am I looking at uh, a VFR chart? That's that's my first problem. There we go. Um, that's Los Alamitos Air Force Base. Is uh, where is the little info box there? Okay. Oh, yep. So Seal Beach. VOR. I did not realize that, that, that Seal Beach VOR was on uh, the grounds of Los Alamitos. So you learn some, I learn something new every day in this sim. Uh, oh, the 42. Okay. Uh, yes, well. <laughs> Alrighty then. I will, I will do my best to remember uh, to drop the number. Um, okay. So it's uh, John Wayne uh, and we will... Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be, we will pretend we're given, you know, a fly runway heading and then uh, uh, some instruction uh, to hang a right at the beach and head, you know, or we'd probably be handed off to departure and then cleared, either cleared direct seal beach or they might give us a shortcut with vectors to join Victor 21. Here, is it 21? Yeah, Victor 21. And the uh, Minimum altitude on Victor 21 is 4,000. So if we were flying, that's what we would uh, file. And then uh, we're going to do the uh, this VORB, uh, VOR uh, DMEB uh, approach uh, down here. Thalo 38, not here. No, absolutely right. Not, not here at all. Um, oh, what's going on with... Oh, that's okay. So that can be cleared. Okay, that's good. Oh, and that says it was five minutes ago, so I think we can go ahead and do... Uh, who can name this actor and role? Oh, um, Harvey Firestein, Mrs. Doubtfire. No, Robin Williams, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes? Hello! Isn't that, isn't that the moment in the fridge where... The, um, he sticks his face in the in the whipped cream on top of the pie and then emerges to say, Hello! <laughs> Doing his best Dame Edna, uh, if I recall correctly. Um, 
So let's see if I can do. Oh, oh, my other, I, my other question, my other urgent question. And hello, barbecue beef. Welcome on in. Um, uh, my other question is: So, um, uh, M. Glickman, uh, with me singing along with Leonard, are we in sync, or is there any latency or lag? Am I behind him or ahead of him, or are we in sync? I'm hoping we're in sync, because uh, it would be awful uh, if we weren't. That person I cannot name. I think that's somebody that uh, maybe nobody knows. I don't know. Is that somebody famous and I should know who they are? I, I see that emote a lot, but I didn't. Uh, I might have to s oh, sing a couple more times for us to be sure. Okay. Small lag. Well, is it, am I ahead or behind? Oh, you used to think it was a zombie. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like it's in black and white, which makes it a little zombie-ish. I was a little behind. Okay, well, so I might try to err on being slightly ahead of the game there. So I think, so Wash Crank, this one, this one's, this one's for you. Where is love? Does it fall from skies above? Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been dreaming of? All righty, there we go. Okay, I am, I am now going to take your channel points. Uh, okay, there it is to you. I'll take my channel points as well, although I have infinite channel points, but there we go. I was behind, and at the end, yeah, okay, all right, good to know. Let's see, um, so approach, we need to know about approaches at Catalina, and look, there's, there are, there are only two charts at Catalina, one for the, the, the and they're both for this VOR approach, one, one for A and one for B, uh, oh, Gosh, I did. I never. I have never. I have always done those with a right click and open it in a new tab. I didn't even know I could do this. So this is kind of nice. I might actually just leave this open. So what's going to be? Oh, except that no. So let's close that and let's go back and do this the way I normally do, which is oh come on, there we go. There we are. Alrighty then, because now I can. Now we can now. We, not only can I see it, hopefully you can see it too. So we've got a frequency for the VOR. That's good, and some other frequencies. Good to know those. Missed approach. Climb to thirty four hundred. Direct the VOR and hold. Now that's interesting because the VOR. Let's see. Jammer. Jammer. Wait, was what removed? Hang on. Oh, um, hi, Sun Jammer. Welcome on in. Great to see you. And yes, Tyro, thank you so much for mentioning it. Uh, I did turn off the hat redeem uh, for the uh, cam free streams. Um, and can I not? Uh, from this window. Oh dear Lord, I can't, it won't let me manage from here, so, oh, and now how do I get back to, oh no, oh no, wait, will a back take me to, no, oh no, oh, oh, okay, there we go, that got me back more or less to where I need to be, except for that, there's that, so then I, okay, if I go over to this window, this should have a manage rewards, manage rewards, Yay, and then from Manage Rewards, you have to click on Manage Rewards. <laughs> now, there's the Hat Redeem, and there's that should be the Hat Redeem uh, reactivated. Uh, if not, let me know. And thank you for the reminder, Tyro, because uh, obviously I forgot. Uh, let's see, what else have I missed? Let's see. It only bum, bum, bum. Um, oh, there we go. And Tyro has redeemed Cowboy Hat. 
So let's get the cowboy hat timer music going. And uh, <clears throat> just doing my job, ma'am. There we are. Alrighty then. Now. Huh. Yeah, that extra H throws me too. Like when I try to type Thalo, I never get that first H in there at all because I just, that just doesn't seem right to me. But uh, we shall see. So what I don't, I don't remember where the VOR is in relation to the runway. And the runway, I think, is not really depicted on the chart here or the relation between the two. Usually you get, oh, well, look, there's the runway. Oh, okay. So it's, so the VOR is the far side of the runway. So this, so the missed approach is saying climb to 3,400, direct to the VOR and hold. So assuming we're uh, using runway 22, that would just be climb to 3,400 and turn and head to the VOR and then hold as depicted at the VOR. So, whew, anybody know, uh, howdy partner, good to, good to see you. Any, anybody, any of you experienced real world pilots or even you more experienced, uh, 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 sim pilots, uh, it, it, it sure would seem to me if I'm going to be holding in this pattern at this VOR and if I have missed my approach coming right off this way, it sure seems like the easiest way to enter the hold for this VOR would be like this. But that, to do that and then and, and come in around in this way, would definitely not be, um, definitely not be direct the VOR. So I don't know what to think about that. I mean, I guess, I guess you actually are expected to turn and come down here direct to the VOR. And then that would be, what kind of an entry would we make there, uh, Let's see, it's, I have no idea. Uh, it wouldn't be, uh, would we just, would we just turn this way and come across and make, is would that, that would be a teardrop, I guess? And this and like that, I suppose. I don't know. Hopefully we will not, uh, have to, uh, do the mist so we don't, we won't, won't need to know that if we don't do the mist. Okay. So what else are we gonna, all right, so there's the, um, there's that. I'm, I'm going to need the um, frequency for Seal Beach because we'll need that tuned in. And so that Seal Beach 115.7. I'm going to take this out of our way for the moment. So we will get, um, let's see. Oh, hello. <sighs> there we go. So we have 115.7 uh, dialed in on. Um, Wait a minute. <laughs> this is, uh, that's for up there. Is, did I, uh, is, 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 is this one for, no, uh, because that's your cursor and doing all your data entry. Oh, do, uh, do I push it for that? That's what it is. You push it to get that. Okay, that's good to know. And what did I just say? Oh, yeah, 115.7. I should have known that, uh, already. Uh, let's say 1, 15. Point seven. All right. We can switch that in there, and then we're going to want the Catalina VOR. Uh, hello, mouse cursor is, or mouse pointer is, not wanting to uh, behave for me today. Okay, here we go. The Santa Catalina, Santa Catalina. <gasps> Dave, <laughs> welcome on in. 114.15. 114.15 is Catalina. There we go. All right, so uh, those are set. That's good. Um, this should probably not be in GPS mode. There we go. That ought to be good. Um, what the? Anybody want to explain to me what uh, <laughs> what the OBS button 
does as opposed to the obviously this one switches between gps and uh ground-based nav but uh oh let's see did i miss um dave yeah no i haven't figured it out in fact that's kind of why so the the real reason that i'm streaming today is because sim caesar made me uh but <laughs> i'm still i'm just, so i'm just doing what i was already planning to do today which was try using the sim uh with uh an empty community folder uh, to see if that resolved the uh, the crash to desktop issue, so that's what I was going to be doing anyway. So it's now it's um, so I'm doing, I'm just doing what I was already going to do. Uh, I'm just doing it with with 44 people along for the ride. So there there you are. You used VR goggle. Oh my. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm a I'm I am a I'm I think I think if I'm honest, I'm probably afraid of VR. Like I might once I get those goggles on, I might never take them off again. So I'm just, I'm, I'm I'm highly highly resistant to um, exactly Dave. That you Dave, you have just captured not only the uh, the um, situational dynamics, uh, but also the mood tone <laughs> for. Uh, yeah, wash crank. That's like I said. That's 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 my biggest fear. Um, so let's see. Um, so if we just in nav one and we take off and we want to go direct to it, uh, to fly direct to a VOR, we just twist uh, twist over here until the needle centers and then fly whatever radial that is, right? So I don't think I need to have anything going here should probably have a runway heading bugged up uh let me get a uh an airport diagram for john wayne up here hello okay that's odd that that's coming up on this window wait that's no that's not even what is what is going on here john wayne airport diagram pdf there we go Open in a new tab. There it is. Okay. Uh, so, uh, runway heading for 20 is, in fact, 196.2. So, let's get that uh, bugged up. Uh, I guess it's over here. Yeah, well, there we go. Something around there. 196.2, 196, close enough. I'm just going to hit my B key since we're not going to be getting an altimeter setting from anybody today. Okay, so that's runway heading bugged, and then we're set up with the frequency to turn, make our first turn to... So that's fine. I guess I think the main challenge for today, since we don't have the Warrior, because I didn't buy it in the marketplace, uh, we're in the Mooney, so I think one of the big challenges today is going to be just remembering to pull the power back and fly it at about 90 knots the way the uh, the way we do in the Mooney. Uh, I mean, the way we do in the Warrior. Um, let's see. Oh, we could also, we could preset uh, our cruise altitude of 4,000. No harm having that in there as a little reminder. Um, why is there a message on here? Uh... For no, oh, OBS not available. Okay, it's Omni bearing selector. Why would our why would our OBS not be available? I don't know. But I guess it just it didn't like me clicking this, and I still have no idea, really, what the meaning of this button is. I mean, I'm used to the 750 where there's just one button that switches you between VLOC and uh, and and GPS. So at any rate. Immersion that follows. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, good. Okay, I did not miss. Uh, yep, good. I think I did not miss anything in chat. If I if, if you say something in chat and I don't respond, it's not you, it's me. Uh, <laughs> holler at me and remind me. <laughs> you normally ascended gravity is here to, uh, to, you know, 
notice that I didn't notice something and to holler at me and, and bring my attention where it needs to be. But the Senate Gravity is not here today. Uh, this was a surprise stream, kind of at the last minute. He does, he does like to know in advance when I'm going to stream, so I did. The very first thing I did was send him a message saying, Sim Caesar is browbeating me and twisting my arm and pressuring me and laying it on really thick, and so there's a non-zero chance that I might stream today, but it's barely above zero. That was the last thing that I sent him. Uh, and then, but so apparently he has real life things going on today and is not online. Um, <laughs> did you, did you, Dave? Okay. I suppose, I, 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 you know, I have no evidence to uh, suggest that you did not invent that. Uh, you may or may not know, I, I invented, um, I have a headache. Uh, but, uh, you know, there we go. Yep, Sleazy, that's kind of what I was thinking, is that it's a, it's a mod-only uh, command. Um, so that's, but thank you for trying. Um, oh, it's a Seinfeld quote. Oh, okay, cool. Why did that not work? Because it's not the right keyboard. <clears throat> okay. Yep, apparently mod only. Sorry. Um, let's see. It's I I love yes. I love I love our our get the streamer's attention command. Absolutely. Okay. I don't think we need um we have two since we've only got these two uh these two facilities to use. So um maybe we should get flying. Did uh Tyro, did you uh decide to uh Join in. Oh, yeah, I bet there you go. We got Tyra right there. Oh, look, here's my. So, so it is AI aircraft that uh, is this. So, there's something. Huh. I did not change any of those settings in the options. Um, I wonder if it's my 3M, my multiplayer model matching add on that eliminated this. There's something that eliminates this. I remember reading about it a couple months ago, and uh, now I don't remember what it is. But I do think model matching is involved, so maybe there's something in my 3M that kills it. In the meantime, I guess we'll just uh, enjoy the show. Uh, okay, I think I was saying maybe we should get going. Um, maybe we should check our fuel... Uh, uh, Wait, we're on the left. It was actually fuel uh, levels that I was uh, interested in. Okay, there we go. 23 and 24, that's fine for now. Uh, fuel flow is, is just barely anything at all, given that we're uh, idling really low here. But, uh, yeah, I think we could probably go ahead and taxi out and take off and see if we can figure out what we're doing. Um, come back here. Yep, yeah, okay. <sighs> How are we doing on, um, where do I, oh, okay, that'll, yep, that's as good as, is it up there? Where do I have to look to, okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and we're gonna, we're heading to runway 22, that's gotta be over to our left there, am I right? Let's see, uh, yeah, we wanna go that away, so let's get the parking brake off. And uh, head on out to Bravo here. Oh, and I turned the uh, turned the sim sounds off because they were way loud at the beginning of the stream. But let's let's see how airplane sounds. That certainly adds to the mood. So we'll just head all the way down here to, is it Juliet? Or do we pass Juliet? Why can I not find my, oh look, oh boy, I am not used to having this up here. Wow, I almost forgot what that looks like. So right, so that, was that hotel we just passed there? No, I think we just passed Juliet. Oh no, that is hotel. Okay, so we got quite a ways to go. I hear a little bit of Wild West in the background, which tells me cowboy hat time is almost over. 
we'll uh, we'll keep it on while we taxi and take it off down at the far end there. Okay, so it's going to be a uh, fly runway heading. Um, we'll probably just stay on run runway heading till we're over the beach. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember John Wayne Airport. That's Juliet because that's where the taxiway jogs to the left a little bit. So we'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of a jog to the left over here, and then we can head on down to uh, is it Kilo? Yeah, they they always Pilot Edge always has has me depart from Kilo here, which is uh, strictly speaking not the end of the um, boopsie. Uh, let me get into position here, and then I'll pull the chart over to say the thing I was about to say. So, you can, but you but you can kind of see, <clears throat> you can kind of see from here. We're gonna we're gonna hang a right here uh, onto Kilo and take off from there. But you can see it goes like another 40, 50 feet, and there's another right. So so there actually is uh, Lima that takes you to the very end of the runway. Uh, but Pilot Edge always has me uh, hang uh, a right there, and then, the, but but then, and there's no problem with that. To me, it looks like an intersection takeoff since you're not at the very beginning of the runway. But then they never use the language. You know, they never say clear for, you know, runway two one at kilo, clear for takeoff. They just say runway two one clear for takeoff, or two zero right. Sorry. But you know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't know why this is not considered an intersection takeoff when it sure looks to me like an intersection on the chart, but what are you gonna do? Okay. So we're gonna pretend we've gotten our uh, our takeoff clearance. We got a notch of flaps. Is our uh, is our trim really set where we want it? Is our cursor on the right screen? Uh, trim, 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 trim. Yeah, trim could come up. Just another little bump there. All righty. Uh, let's just, we'll just, uh, we'll just do this, I guess. Let me get to my, um, let me see which, boy, I'm not used to looking at sky vector charts when I'm flying. That's really weird, but okay. Yep, I guess I'm ready. Tyro, are you, uh, you know, let me get the brake back on and go see what's happening out here. Uh, oh, Tyro is right there. Uh, Nebo is here. Wow. Uh, Nebo is at 6,000 feet somewhere, not too far away. Uh, maybe over toward LA, I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get me and Tyro and the tower uh, in this shot. Hey, that'll do. Alrighty. And then here, and then let's go here, and then this, oh dear lord, goes over here, and then like that, and then like that. And yes, excellent. All right. <clears throat> a little snapshot for the family album there, and we can get underway. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> Cold Nebo, rehearsal already. Oh, oh, so you already, I see. Gotcha. Uh, all right, well, uh, sorry I took so long <laughs> that uh, that you weren't able to, uh, to stay. But uh, here we have. Okay. Oh, I could uh, I could fill that in, couldn't I? Well, too bad. <laughs> we're we're gonna do this without a route command today. Okay, let's kind of get over toward that center line, and uh, we're gonna have full power. Alrighty. Oof! There's airspeed live. Oof. And there's 60, 65, 70, 75. Let's rotate a little bit and off she goes. Lovely, 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 lovely. Positive rate? Yeah, sure, that's a positive rate, why not?
Oopsie. Okay. What we gotta do now is kinda try and stay on runway heading. And like I say, we will uh, pretend that uh, as we get to the coastline there that uh, we're turned over to departure and then called call departure and then uh, I th I th I'm going to pretend that departure gives us direct Seal Beach uh, and then maybe if the you know let's after yeah after we pretend so we'll we'll pretend they give us direct Seal Beach and we'll get settled on that uh, on that course just to make sure I know how to do it ha <laughs> ha and then are they still on runway head pretty much close enough um, then before we get to seal beach we will uh, we will pretend that they give us uh, vectors to intercept Victor 21 so we can see if I remember how to do that would that be exciting uh, yeah we're almost at the shoreline here we'll just go a little bit further And you know, I can figure that that's probably a heading of about. It's more than 300, so um, as soon as they. So here we are at the shoreline. So let's say ATC calls up and says uh, contact departure. So then we switch over to the departure frequency and uh, say Mooney 8080 Alpha 2000 climbing 4000. And then let's say they say. Clear direct seal beach. Would there be anything else in that call? I don't know, but as soon as we get that, whoopsie! Uh oh, goodness gracious! Oh, you know what? I probably would have already done before this is get this on in uh, heading mode, so that then when they say clear direct seal beach, uh, I could uh, start a right hand turn. Oh dear lord! I wish I was trimmed better. Start a right hand, so I read back clear direct seal beach and then get started on a right hand turn here to uh, get us generally headed that way. And then uh, we could come over here uh, to this and put, let's see, so we'd put switch this to nav mode and then uh, over here uh, twist this until the needle center. Right? Whoopsie. So I think. Did it go into nav mode? It did not. There we go. So now I think that is going to give us direct seal beach. Now we are coming up on a 4,000. Um, and we're close enough to it that we're not really going to have time to arm anything. So we will just manually. Hit alt hold once we uh, get to 4,000, and uh, oh, and then we're gonna then we're gonna pull our power back and slow down because we are tearing through the skies here. Uh, okay, so there we are with an alt hold at 4,000, so now we can come up here and uh, start cranking the power back. try around to go as slow as the warrior we probably got to come back to around 18 and 18 so let's see how that goes Close enough. Look at that. Sipping 11 gallons per hour. Isn't that sweet? <clears throat> okay. So now we are heading direct to Seal Beach. So the next thing we want to consider is that they might give us a shortcut by giving us a vector to intercept uh, the Victor 21 airway. So the Victor 21 airway is on a heading of 202. 
So an intersect, and what's our current uh, heading? Let's see, three, two, right around three, two, three, one, five, probably. And so if uh, if the uh, if the that thing heading is around here, an intercept vector is going to be in the middle. So let's say, okay, let's say they're going to give us two seven zero. Uh, so that's uh, we can uh, we can do. Uh, we can do that, can't we? Um, Tyro out ahead of me there. And what are we, so what, what did that get our airspeed down to? Uh, down to, we're still going really fast. But let's go in, so let's, uh, let's just say, let's catch up on chat. If I hit Rattle 80, uh, welcome on in. Thanks. Oh, and I completely forgot how the hat reward time ended, uh, before takeoff. But, uh... Oh, so I thought I thought Tyro was in front of me, but that's not Tyro. That's tying boot. There's Tyro behind. Alrighty. Well, um, how close are we to? Uh, I don't see Los Alamitos. So what happens if we go back here and look for uh, Los Alamitos directly in our path? Still not seeing it, but I think we're I think we are well before. Los Alamitos. Oh, look, we still have flaps out. That's not good. Oh, bad pilot is so, so very bad. Let's now say ATC uh, calls up, gives us vectors. Uh, gives us, um, um, turn left heading 270, vectors intercept, uh, Victor 21 airway. So we can just come down here, switch this back over to heading mode. That's going to give us our left turn to 270 uh, that we kind of cheated and set up beforehand. But, uh, oh, uh, Pezzy. I missed that when it happened. No worries. Where is my... Oh, I think I see what's going on in my chart. My chart is blocking uh, my seeing a variety of things. Um, okay, so let's see. Tyro's cowboy can be uh, cleared. Ooh, that's... So I'm now... You know what? We gotta... Hang on. I gotta... Okay. I need to deal with rewards in a moment, because what I gotta do uh, sooner than later is uh, get onto this airway. So we're gonna switch these. So that's now... Um, uh, that's now the VOR that we want to be on the... Uh, reciprocal? No, we want to we want to be flying 202 to that. So that means a course set to 202 like that, and switch it back to nav mode. Uh, should give us a left turn to intercept that radial. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, a magenta line would be uh, really friendly, wouldn't it? But this, if I'm if I'm not too terribly mistaken, this should bring us to Catalina. Hey, look, I think that looks like Catalina. What do you think? That is looking very Catalina-like to me. And there, hey, there's the. Uh, the gamer tag guidance system also indicating Catalina over there. Why is our airspeed so high? This is insane. Um, whew, I think we're going to. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm just I'm going to uh, add a little speed brake just to slow us down because I don't want to run the engine a whole lot slower than that. I really want a little bit of time. Uh, <clears throat> I really want to have a little bit of time to uh, look at this approach before we get there, and we're we're getting there really quickly. What happens with the speed brakes fully deployed? That should slow us down quite a bit, uh, because I also need to come over here and take uh, uh, Tyro's channel points for the cowboy hat and Pezzy. Will you be around once we land in Catalina? Because that uh, the, uh, the 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 TV ad 
it's about a four minute thing so doing it during a flight uh, doesn't really work all that well I haven't figured out how to uh, dynamically turn them on and off perfectly fine for the ad excellent good answer that's the right that's the answer we were looking for okay now so this approach let's look at the chart and look at this approach we're done with uh, John Wayne that thing so um, oh so that's interesting that's not what I'm remembering about uh, so we need to be coming in on the 352 radial no um, I think I think we just have to arrive at Wrigley don't we and then no oh man uh, let's see what we got down here. Well, so we already got Wrigley. And from Wrigley, fly 352. Five, no, wait. Wrigley? And then Mathpie? No, oh, Mathpie is the missed approach. Oh, it's, wait, this is Wrigley. Oh, so we're, this is, we're going, oh, uh, right. So it's, um, see an altitude on this. Oh, 3,400. So I think I think it's Wrigley is at 4,000. And then on the... And so so what? So here again, I don't... Okay. I think what we're going to do is do some reading about this. Let me uh, see what's... Oh, heavens. Ha ha ha. Meant to uh, meant to check on the effects of our friends, the speed brakes there. Uh... And very nearly just stalled us out. This must look, uh, yeah, look at that uh, attitude uh, that we had <laughs> to uh, very nearly stall. Okay, so that's we want to. That's going to creep back up to 80 or more um, while we read about uh, this approach. Because uh, so yeah, this is so. This is this is the kind of prep I would ordinarily do before the stream. But as I said once again, sometimes. One doesn't know that one is going to stream until a few moments beforehand. So, um, yeah, I could, I could, I could be using flaps instead, which which would decrease my stall speed. How are we doing on speed? Yeah, there we go, eighty-five or so. Sorry about that, Tyro. Um, so uh, that's yep, full full approach versus vectors. Um, but it was not a line, so. Right. Yeah. So this uh, this approach is not aligned. The runway is not aligned with the VOR, um, which means uh, which is why it's not, for example, the runway t the VOR runway two one approach. The reason it only has a letter is because it's not aligned. It's it's the whether you're landing four or two one, and you know I don't actually know the uh, we should uh, I should have that open, and uh, Catalina. Oh wait a minute. Catalina, oh good, Catalina doesn't have a <laughs> an airport diagram. How is that possible? Uh, what happens if I go, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, it's four and two, two. That's what we needed to do. So regardless of whether you're landing uh, to the southwest on two, two, or somehow coming around the other way to land uh, to the north on, on four, it's still the same approach. Uh, because uh, you're you're you're, it's, you're you're flying to the VOR and then you're circling um, uh, to land on the runway of your choice. So how are we doing here? Uh, okay, yeah, back up to a hundred knots, faster than I wanted. Here comes this island really fast, which I don't really want to do. I'm tempted to pause. Tyro, you mind if I pause while we figure out what to do once we get there? Because we're getting a little too close. So forewarned is forearmed. Does it work for you if we go ahead? Okay. So here's this, and then here's a pause. All right, we are paused. I think we're I think we're providing a good bit of stress to the sim that if a crash to desktop were going to happen, it might have happened already. I hate to jinx things, but I'm 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 pleased we've gotten halfway through, uh, albeit a short flight. Nonetheless, we've gotten halfway through without a CTD. For anybody who has come in recently, uh, we're doing a giveaway at the end of the stream. We're going to give away a free sub to the Peter Mooney channel. Uh, and if, you're, uh, if your ticket is drawn in the drawing, um, 
Well, rat hole. That's the whole purpose of today's stream is is troubleshooting. I've been having a, a horrific spate of crash to desktops, uh, and so we're we're flying in a vanilla sim with no add-ons uh, to see if that uh, crashes it. So uh, that's 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 all I meant by so far so good. But yes, indeed, type ticket uh, exclamation point ticket to get yourself entered into the giveaway, and uh, uh, then. It, right, so you know, giveaways at the end of the stream. You don't have to be present to win. And uh, if you uh, if your name is drawn in the drawing and you're already a sub here, I'll gift you a sub to any channel on Twitch, as long as you pick a channel that offers subscriptions and to which you're not currently subscribed. Okay, so uh, so flying the procedure turn. So let's go here. This thing, uh, right. So um, that's the explanation of why we have a letter instead of a runway number, but... Um, the uh right because it's not aligned uh and then uh right so yep no 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 straight in minimums only the circling minimums because we have because we have no choice but to circle so um right that's good that was so this about place for flying flying the procedure turn <gasps> Scotty too hotty with a resub an 18 month Resub, wow! Thank you so much, Scotty. That's uh, you're our, you're our second 18 month resub. Sim Caesar did his 18 month resub yesterday. Thank you so very much, and a welcome, welcome on in, Scotty, 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 Scotty. How does he say Scotty so fast? Scotty, 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 Scotty. No, I can't. My tongue won't do that. Scotty. Um, oh, spicy mountain updraft. Uh, you know, I don't know if I have live weather on. I probably don't because. <laughs> I think the last time, yeah, the last time I flew was the Sunday fly along. Um, so, in all likelihood, I have live weather off, but we can we we can check that. Scotty, 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 does this uh, does your uh, does 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 your subscription renewal and your presence in the chat indicate that you are home from the doctor, or does it indicate that you're on your phone at the doctor? <laughs> Just checking, because if if you're home. Uh, already, then as soon as we... You are home. Excellent. All right. Well, we're going to fly this approach and land at Catalina and then uh, and then raid you. If that works, does that work for you uh, to be streaming in within you know, 20, 30 minutes or so? If that works for you, I am absolutely the... Other than landing at Catalina, my next favorite thing in the world would be pressing the uh, stop streaming button. So uh, let me know if, if that's if that timing sounds good to you. Then we will just uh, we will do that. So um, right. So we did a hold in lieu of procedure turn last time. Maybe okay. Well, I'll just I will I will I will check in with you from time to time if that if that works for you. Uh, so we we last uh, on the I six we did a hold in lieu of procedure turn, uh, but this time uh, it's an actual. Um, uh, it's a it's an actual procedure turn. It's not it's not a hold that's used other otherwise for holding. Its sole purpose is this course reversal um, at Wrigley. So um, which it says gives us a lot more flexibility. I don't know about that. But outbound from Wrigley, heading oh heading north. Oh, is that so? That so? This is part of the I on these on these FAA charts. I forget now how the JEP charts depict this, <laughs> but it's. I'm pretty sure it's in a way that just is just my mind just immediately sees what's going on here. This depiction on the FAA charts, I've I've been struggling for two years to try and understand what they're, but I did. But it is helpful to see that there must be some kind of turn involved here because indeed, we're going to fly from Wrigley north on a heading of 352 and then somehow we're going to get turned around back inbound on a heading of 172 uh, down to the missed approach point so i guess that makes sense to me looking at this that we are going to we're going to cross wrigley northbound and wrigley, wrigley is up here so we have to cross wait cross wrigley northbound and then cross it again I'm, I am 
oh, here's our procedure turn up here, duh. So we cross Wrigley northbound on a heading of 352. Then we uh, make a left turn, which is going to take us to about 307. Then we'll make then we'll turn right around here and re-intercept uh, the 172, uh, and that brings us inbound and down. Okay, so <clears throat> well, <laughs> good good luck with that, Tyra. Bonanza, Bonanza G36 flyer, welcome on in. Bonanza. <laughs> Okay, Cold Nebo is saying what the outbound 352, the inbound is 172, uh, but that doesn't depict the procedure turn. Um, yeah, well, it's, yeah, so you're right, no, it, 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 yeah, so I mean, this this doesn't, but uh, I, I, I always also forget <laughs> that where the JEP charts paint you a pretty little picture of what the procedure turn looks like, uh, the FAA charts just give you an angled arrow and say, you figure it out. Uh, but that's but said yeah so I think we've got that figured out but then what else is just fly around until you get there yes that's, that's as far as best I can tell what the FAA charts depict is yeah just fly around till you you know you'll get there eventually so the procedure turn is depicted on the plan form on the plan form well by the plan form you're talking about this up here yes I think uh, oh, and yeah, does, yeah, no, so yeah, don't confuse this with that, no, right. Um, yes, yes, okay. Bonanza G, 36 flyer, yeah, doing, doing as well as I can, having, uh, been suddenly informed by someone else that I was streaming today. <laughs> there it is. So, um, the, t the text from Pilot Edge, though, does talk about how to get ourselves, um, at the point where we are um, heading north from Wrigley. So we we'll want to, oh, uh, what is we, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sim Caesar. Thank you so much for the, uh, thank you so much for the, uh, your kind and supportive words. I appreciate that a great deal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, where's my, uh, there's a, uh, yes. All righty, so let's go back over here to, um, there we go. So flying the approach from SXC. Um, There's 2300, so cross SXC, at or above 4000, and report Wrigley inbound. Um, yeah, so this is confusing me, um, that, so, uh, arriving at, oh, wait, SXC is a feeder route, SXC, um, uh, maybe, so maybe I need to be looking at, um, this, to see SXC is a feeder feeder out. Um, yeah, I, I don't get this. No, so feeder routes are depicted on approach charts, not um, not on route charts. Um, why am I not seeing? Oh, SXC is the, oh, duh. Um, I was, so I was confusing AVX and SXC. So, so so but so so SXC is the is the code for the VOR. So then I definitely don't understand the meaning of uh, the sentence. Uh, where was I just reading it? Uh, yes, SXC is a feeder route for this approach. I th I th I think that must mean. That the SXC three five two radial is a feeder route for this approach. The feeder route we had last time was from Seal Beach. It was the the Seal Beach zero four nine radial was the feeder route to the initial approach fix. 
So I'm, that's what I'm going to interpret this to mean. So, so we're on a random route uh, from the east, cross SXC at about 4,000, cleared the approach. Report Wrigley inbound, right. So, right. So the first tax is to, to depart SXC heading 352, right. So I think so I think we can I think we can get there once we're cleared for the approach I think it's up to us how we want to uh, get to Wrigley flying northbound so we're coming in sort of from over here and I think that's like a really steep turn uh, like a more than 90 degree turn so I think once we're cleared we probably want to turn and head uh, more sort of south so that then we can turn west and then back north to get on the 352. Um, where are the bears? Where are the bears? Bear bones? Did I misspell? No, I didn't. But thank you for thank you for trolling, uh, Mr. Egan. <laughs> happy to happy to have you. Um, yeah, yeah, we've been hanging in space for a while. So I think we're just gonna uh, once we get a little closer to the island, we are gonna. So what do we have set currently? So currently. We're going direct to uh, the uh, that VOR. Yeah, it's got us. Oh well, you know, so we're heading. Yeah, we're so yeah, we're already heading pretty far south. So I think once we get to oh, so now Wrigley. Wait a minute. How the heck am I identifying Wrigley if it's not say like a, a, a DME off of SXC? And I guess that's what this five means. So um, I kind of almost I'm kind of almost tempted to keep heading south uh, and then turn so that I'm kind of heading along the coast here to uh, uh, so that then I can re-intercept this radial. Uh, so I'm heading on a yeah I know you know I think uh, I'm now thinking um, boy I wish Scott if Scotty had said yes I'm ready to start any moment. <laughs> I would just bag trying to learn how to fly this approach uh, with everybody watching and do it in private uh, before uh, trying it uh, on, on stream on Thursday. But uh, so I, if, you'll, if, you'll, if you'll bear with me, uh, since I really have no clue, and Tyro, again, sorry for leaving you hanging in the air there for uh, uh, what will probably go from 10 to maybe 20 minutes uh, before we get there. Uh, but I, I mean, it's, if I'm going to, if I'm going to try flying this, then I need to, uh, you know, at least know, uh, what it is. So let's see. So the first task is depart the VOR, uh, heading 352, right? Okay. Well, that's what I was just saying. Uh, and join that radial outbound. Fine. Descending to 30, it's now 3,400 because the charts were updated. Um, bearing with me. Okay. All righty. Fine. Yep, okay. Uh, they might have vectored me south and east. Yep, okay, because that's, so that's where I was wanting to head naturally. Uh, making the task of accelerating fairly straightforward. Yep, okay, that's fine. Or I might be arriving via Victor 21, which I am. Now, uh, or on a random route, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in which case, I'd be arriving from the northeast. That's not us, with a lot of maneuvering to do. So either way, uh... Start the turn just prior to the VOR and join the radial outbound. And don't write, yeah, no, don't, no, no procedure turn at that point. So then, five, okay, 5 DMI is then when, when we'll be at Wrigley. And that's where we can do our procedure turn. So it's left, first of all, to 307. Fly for a minute. Let me make sure I got my minute timer button on screen. There it is. Um, then, uh, during the outbound leg, Cold Nebo, are you typing this for me on the on screen while I'm reading it from the <laughs> screen? Okay. During the outbound leg, turn the OBS around to 172, and after 60 seconds, make a right turn to heading 127, and then join uh, right join the final approach course. And then we're going to have to descend, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, see the need on there. Ready begins to center. Make the right turn to join the what's 17. Is it 172 or 127? The in the one, yeah, to join the one. Right. 
So we're just so we're going to get ourselves somewhere down here. Um, I guess I'm just I'm going to switch to heading mode and just fly, uh, maybe just to, to, to fly a heading of 172. So then once the needle is pointing uh, over there, and probably once we're along the coast, we'll just turn and we'll come up here and we'll join this radial. Okay, so good. So I'm clear about what's happening there. Um, but a boom, 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 boom. Uh, okay, good. Reaching Wrigley, that's when we would report inbound, because that's what our instruction was. And then they will probably just go ahead and turn us over then. And it will probably have the field in sight then, in which case it's uh, polite to go ahead and cancel IFR in case there's other people being held. But we'll see what has a... Okay, well, I, I guess I've got... Hey, that didn't take a, another whole 10 minutes. And I guess I have a general idea of what we're, uh, what we're about to do, at least enough of an idea to uh, give it a try. Boy, a magenta line would make this easy. Sheesh! Okay, so um, we're in nav mode, right? Yeah, we're in nav mode. I'm going to bug up one seven. Well, maybe not one seven. Oh, and we're paused, so let's unpause. And uh, something around in there is, hang on, what's it doing? Why is it, why are you turning? Why are you turning? Uh, this is very confusing. What's it do? No, okay, no, it's turning back now. Okay. It just got confused while we were paused there, I guess. So we're going to get a little closer to the island and then turn a little bit more leftish from where we are. Um, let's see where it settles down here. And then, uh, then we'll, uh, Cold Nebo, looks like you've all already loaded out, so <laughs> it's okay. It's all, no, Cold, Cold Nebo, no, um, uh, that, that Flight Sim community helpful attitude means never having to say you're sorry. I, I appreciate it. I love you, dude. Um, are we gonna, let's see, uh... Yeah, we'll keep going this way a little bit further, and then we'll then we'll make that uh, turn over to uh, heading. Oh my gosh, we have a new follower. Who followed? D H Paradox. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Peter Mooney channel. We're having a little bit of fun with uh, fun with V O R approaches today. Well, we're doing our best to have fun with a V O R approach uh, today. The uh, V O R B uh, approach to Santa Catalina. And, uh, you know, I think we're close enough that I am going to go ahead and let's so, you know, let's just, oh my gosh, Cold Nebo, thank you so, so very much for something the activity feed's not showing me. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, continued your sub, with using your prime sub uh, to, uh, to uh, continue what I think was a, a gift sub. That's awesome. Um, edge case, goodness. Oh, from, oh, it was a gift from Scotty to Hottie. Now I see it on that X. It's okay. You never know with Twitch. Yep, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and flip this over to heading mode, which should give us a turn over there to 170-ish something. And then the DME should be telling us something. Oh, gosh, we're still 14 miles uh, out from the VOR, so that's quite something. And now what I want... So I still have... Santa Catalina 114.15 is uh, still uh, in there. And what I want to write, so what we should be seeing, um, what I kind of want to know is when am I uh, due west, more or less, of this VOR, or due east, rather, of the VOR, because that's kind of when I want to make my right turn. And so that would be, let's see, uh, it's going to be a turn to the, oh, but no, but it's the, hmm. So I'm just, I'm, I, what I'm, so what, so again, we're, uh, we're now flying basically parallel to the final approach course, but over here. And so I want to make a right turn when I'm east of the VOR so that I can intercept, uh, at this angle. Um, so I'm kind of wondering, 
like what that radial would be over there. So if that's 195, and this is 352, somewhere around 90, 90-ish. I mean, let's, let's, well, 90 is enough of a ballpark. So I, then I think that if I put this on 90-ish, then I think that as we continue south, this should drop in and center when we're when it's pointing at the VOR. I think I'm thinking this through correctly. By all means, if you know I'm not, <laughs> feel free <laughs> to let me know about that. So then, uh, what are how are we looking at? Oh, there's our island, and we are yeah. So we are heading kind of where I thought, and uh, I think that probably if it's going to do what I think it's going to do probably ought to be uh, moving on down fairly soon because we're going to just fly up the course there, up the coast essentially fly up the coast here so we should be making our turn before the coastline I think Maker's Dave it's Maker's Dave <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome on in. I think Cyber Whiskey uh, is here uh, as well at the moment. Um, is this needle moving at all? It's not. Have I have I not thought thought this through properly? Oh well, you know I could find out where uh, where we are currently by getting it centered, right? Oh, is it all the oh it's all the way over here? No, it's okay. So that's now pointing to the VOR. So is it that I want to know when the VOR is right about over there? Is that what we're talking about? I don't know. Seems like we're getting mighty close to the coast. Um, and we're, so we're, we're now 9.3 DME. If I'm parallel to that course, this shouldn't be changing a lot. Um, I was about to look at the moving map, but I don't want to cheat. <sighs> Oh, Larry Gopnik. Well, Larry, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Um, I had forgotten that even with an empty community folder, uh, add-ons that you bought in the marketplace still load unless you um, uh, unless you um, run in safe mode, which I'm not. So, so at least I've got the Mooney that I feel you know at home in uh, flying in. So that's a good thing. Um, why is that not moving that needle? Am I have I completely failed to think through something here? I am I am in heading mode, right? Yeah, I'm in heading mode. Um, but it's it's tuned to the VOR. So let's see. Let's try seeing where it's pointing, where it centers now. If I no 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 no, that's not what I meant to do. So now it's, yeah, well, I guess that's, now that needle's moving. Okay. So, is it moving at all when I point it over there? I don't know. So, oop. That's really weird when I bring it in here, then it moves. Okay. Well, so then I can keep... I guess I just... I can keep checking on that. Oh, Plagiato! Oh, I'm so sorry. We have OBS static. Oh, what a pity. Um, oh, hang on. I think it's time to... Uh, you know, we're almost there. So, um, Larry Gopnik, yes. Even with... So, I would like to be doing this at about 90 knots. But even with the speed brakes deployed, uh, we're going over 100. Oops, is this now, I think, so I'm just going to have to keep, I don't understand why I couldn't just point this at, uh, you know, over here at west and have the needle. So really, if I go down here, the needle's really not going to move? It's not. I guess it has something to do with, I don't know. I guess I need to know more about 
how this little gadget works. Where am I in terms of the island? Okay, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna head to the VOR. It will move eventually. Just be patient. Okay, thank you. So uh, point this at west. So if I just leave it there, looky there. Now it's moving. Okay. Um, and so um, yeah, as soon as uh, so as soon as it comes in, then I guess, man, you know, I thought I was going to be clear of the shoreline. Doesn't matter. Uh, hey, Eurist Games, welcome on in. Oh, there it comes. So as soon as we're there, I'm going to go ahead and switch this back over to nav mode. So that should now have us turn us... So that should turn us heading straight toward the VOR, which is not ultimately where we want to be, but it's a good place to start. Um... And then maybe when we're within about five miles or so, that's when we will put in the, uh, we'll twist it to 352. Uh, so then we'll be able to intercept the, what's it, uh, wait, what's it doing? What is this doing to me? Uh, okay. No, I think it's just it's rocking back and forth a little, but that should be should be fine. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. It's bringing us right on around to there. Okay. So yeah, I do think at about whoopsie at about five DME. Do I not have so this I need? Hmm. This is I gotta go here. I'm not set up for, my views are not set up for VOR flying in the Mooney, because I've never done VOR flying in the Mooney before, so is that, yeah, I can see the autopilot from there, and this is Control shift 4 so let me record that, and we then go up here, and then come back down to here, yes, okay. So five, we're almost at five, so let's get ready to twist in the 352 uh, radial. Um, yep, let's do it now. So three, five. Wait. 172. Hang, hang, hang on. <laughs> What have I done now? Um, oh, wait, that's oh, silly me. That's I picked the wrong one. There we go. So now <laughs> I'm pretty sure that once the, the, that once this needle comes in, then we. So this is still pointing at the VOR. Oh, but I want to be, that's the thing, is now I want to be flying. Uh, this is when I want to be flying a heading, a good intercept heading, which we think is probably about around 300. So let's get the, we'll get the heading bug bugged up to about here and switch to heading mode, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, because that's because we're yeah, right. Well, I'm, I'm cheating by looking at the moving map, which I didn't mean to do. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely right. So if we're if we are heading over that way, right, the course is to our left. And as long as we keep heading that way, this needle should start coming in uh, to uh, to the right. And when this is centered, then that's the 352 radial on which we need to head north to 5DME, which will be Wrigley. And so then, then we'll fly outbound a minute and then actually start the procedure from there. I think. <laughs> so I think I've gotten us uh, to where we want to be. So DME is still counting down, getting closer to the VOR. Shouldn't, shouldn't really be... 
all that much closer. The moving map that I keep trying not to look at is telling me that we are heading toward the... Uh, yep, yeah, there's, the, there's the field right yonder. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, and is the needle coming in? Not yet, but Sim Caesar uh, uh, not cautions patience, but uh, encourages patience. So I will be patient with, uh, boy, man, imagine, imagine me trying to do all of this and talk on the radio. Pfft. It's going to be interesting on Thursday. We'll see how it goes. Maybe by Thursday we'll have the warrior back in the sim. And, uh, hey, here comes the needle. And what do I want to do when the needle comes in? Oh, I just want to, I can just switch it back to nav mode when the needle comes in, right? Yes, I th I'm pretty sure. That should turn us, so oh, I, I should have done that sooner, because it came in really quickly. But this will get us back on the, uh, that should get us back on the VOR. Um, or back on the, uh, back on the radial. Yep, it's gonna. There we go. So that's a good note to self. Uh, Ken, Kench, Kench, Niner, Niner, Niner. Ken S H nine ninety nine. Welcome on in. I I would I would not even if I were a betting man. I would certainly not put money on when that's likely to happen. Okay, so we're now more or less on the three five two radial flying north away from the VOR. Um, and I'm at 3.9 DME, so coming up at 4, uh, I mean at 5, 5 DME is the initial approach fix, which is Wrigley. And uh, so we're going to fly outbound, oh no, that's right, we're going to fly, oh, no, it's, a, it's a one, it's a, the one minute in the, wait, is it one minute from there, or is it the one minute after I make the procedure turn? Let me just go back to the notes. Uh, passing SXC5, which we are now. Turn to join the radial. Um, then, uh, oh, no. Oh, so it's just it's just anywhere north of Wrigley, I guess. Uh, sooner than later, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go, I'm, just, I'm gonna get a little bit further out before I do the procedure turn, just because we're going faster than I want to go. So the procedure turn is going to be left to 307. Uh, so let's make sure this is this on. Yeah, that's good enough. So we can do it, uh, I guess, pretty much any time now. Uh, yeah, we'll just go down here, switch this over to heading mode. We'll bring us left to 307. And then once we are on a 307 heading, we will um, start our one minute, our one minute timer for a one minute leg. Um, that's close enough. Yes. Okay. So there we go with a one minute timer for our outbound leg. And. Uh, Tyro, you look like you're uh, hanging in there. Thanks for uh, thanks for being my wingman. Okay, that's about 30 seconds. We're gonna keep going this way a little bit further. Then we're gonna make a right turn to 127 and re-intercept. Uh, well, re-intercept the 352 radial. Although it's gonna be a heading of 172 to fly back toward the, uh, I have to figure out whether I want to, which way I want to put the needle, but here we go. We're coming right up on our minute. So let's make a right to uh, 127. Okay. Two, one, two, five, somewhere right around in there. There we go. Okay. So this is gonna head us back toward the island. Lovely. 
And uh, so first we will re-intercept the radial. Um, and so this is where I need to be thinking about this. We're going to be flying, our, our course is 172, which is the reciprocal of the 352. So am I going to just leave the needle where it is and fly with it backwards, or do I swing the needle around to the 172? If I swing it around to 172, then that should give me a... Uh, hmm... Uh, any uh, any suggestions? Sim Caesar, are you uh, still watching? <laughs> uh, I'm just not all that sure how to think about that one. Um, oh, 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 wait, there we are on the radial. Quickly, we're going to get back to uh, nav mode um, and see what it does. It's turning us right, uh, which is what we want. <laughs> wait. No, this is going to turn us north, which is what we don't want. So I think that explains that I do need to uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, did I? Oopsie. Uh, so we blew, we blew that all together. Uh, let's get back in heading mode. Uh, or do we want... Okay, let's leave it in nav mode and just see if we get... Oh, hey, look, I landed on 172 all by myself. I think it's going to swing us back around. Is it? <laughs> 8.2 miles out. Good thing I left us some... Um... Right, so uh, I think before I switched back... So I did my procedure turn, heading northwest at, on a 307, and then a right turn back to 127 to re-intercept... The radial heading south, so it's the 352 radial, but I want to be heading south on the reciprocal of 172, and so I, th I, I think my mistake was I should have, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I should have swung the needle around from 352 to 172, but then I got confused about what was going to be a from indication versus a to indication, so then I wasn't really sure. But we are, so I turned the wrong way, <laughs> which I'm sure would, uh, okay, but uh, we, uh, yeah, we are definitely, we have corrected and are now heading back toward Wrigley, and we got two miles to Wrigley. I am going to uh, just put these speed brakes out all the way, because we're still going really fast. Oh, we also need to be descending to 3,400, uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I guess I guess I'm gonna hand fly it from here, which is really scary because uh, just because it is, but uh, not really sure what else to do with that. So we are are we why are why are we not? Um, is that autopilot off? It says it's off. Um, why are we not over here? following this radial like we should be. Let's correct that first and also get ourselves down to 3400 because we need to be at 3400 which is coming up really soon. Okay, so there we are. There is our getting back on course and down to 3400. Alrighty, that'll work. Whoopsie. Really kind of difficult to hand fly and move this unmoving chart over here, but okay. I don't want to go much below 3,400 there, so that's fine. Uh, and then there's, so there's okay. So now we would call up uh, ATC and report Wrigley inbound. And so then from there, we can step on down to 2,300 at MAFPI. And MAFPI is... Is there a DME on MAFPI? Uh, it must be down here. MathPy is at 2.8. No, MathPy is the missed approach. What is the thing that I'm supposed to be? Let's see. We should keep staying on course here if we can. Um, so this, according to the notes, is about where ATC is kind of likely to turn us over uh, to CTAF. 
and so we would def we would definitely be reporting the field in sight here. Uh, probably would have been a good idea to look up the field elevation beforehand. Okay, 1600, that's good to know. So uh, I think at th this point, I think we cancel IFR, switch over to CTAF, and report entering a right downwind uh, runway 4. So we will pretend we just did that and go ahead and swing ourselves on around this way to remain within. Oh, let's not descend any more than that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get, whoopsie. Uh, there we go. Let's kill our speed brakes. Um, get the mixture and thing back in, and let's kind of get ourselves back up at least near pattern altitude. Bad pilot is bad. So, so very bad. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we'll head on out this way a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then we will, uh, turn left base. <sighs> oh, I'm missing my... Okay, no, I'm not missing much in... Okay. So that's pretty close to... That's close enough to pattern altitude that we can drop the gear and drop in one notch of flaps and hang a left. So let's... Uh, boopsie. Let's hang a left. Have we uh, overshot much? No. And boy, does this look low. This looks very low. Let's bring it on around. I'm going to, you know, I'm just you know, bring it on around to uh, a final here. And uh, it just looks really low to me. So I'm putting in a little more power because I'm, I'm, I'm a skirt. Oh, look, there we are. And we're not really low. I don't know why it looked so low before we uh, we got there. So now let's uh, do a second notch of flaps just to so we don't get going really fast again. Oh, who forgot to start Dolly? Ascended gravity not here to remind me. Whoopsie. Well, there we are. We'll just use slow motion on the replay. Which will be really boring because we didn't. Uh, we could, uh, you know, we could go around because we're really, we're really high. I think we should call this the mist. So that means, oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I didn't realize that, that just anybody could uh, could use that command. But we're uh, we're clearly clearly too high and too fast. So we are just going to announce on the CTAF that we are going around, and uh, then we will take it from there. So let's, whoopsie, just going to use this to cheat for runway heading, that's good, and let's, uh, oh, so we should be flying the missed approach, oh dear god, that's direct, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not flying the missed approach, <laughs> I'm just not, I'm just going ahead, yeah, obviously if it were IMC, uh, there'd be no real choice but to fly the mist, but there's not IMC. So, um, we're just going to climb to 2400 here, and then hang a left and go around in the in the pattern once. In fact, that's probably plenty, and there's 2400, so let's have a little bit of power out. And, oops, I forgot to bring the fla flaps back up and the gear. Bad pilot is, is so, so very bad. Uh, okay, so there's pattern altitude and a almost left crosswind, what do we think? Left crosswind-ish, and actually, I'm going to keep it fairly tight into the field here, so let's go ahead and turn our downwind. Oh, there's the field. Keep losing sight of it, but it keeps coming back. All right. So, hey, there we go. Even without speed brakes at that power, we are nice and nice, steady 80. Oh, well, there goes 90. Okay, but let's uh, 
We'll just keep heading this way till we're midfield. Ooh, so it's not just petulance on my part that's having me not fly the mist. It's that we canceled IFR. <laughs> so, and we canceled IFR because we were visual with the field. So that's why we would be just doing a go around and not a missed approach. Okay, good. So I actually have have legitimate reasons in addition to my in addition to my petulance. <laughs> There's a legitimate reason that we're not flying the mist. Uh, it's it is it is it is not merely the fact that we didn't brief the mist, <laughs> and this isn't a good time to uh, look it up. Um, <clears throat> although those things are true. That's not the reason. Okay, so we're past a beam. Let's drop the gear again and put in a notch of flaps. Okie dokie. And I think we're going to give ourselves a slightly longer final this time. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but we could start a slow descent. Let's see. What are we trimmed for? Okay, that's, that's not bad. Uh... uh yeah, there we go. <sighs> it, uh, yeah, uh, M. Glickman, it's, yep, so far so good. No, uh, I haven't seen any stutters, any, I haven't seen anything, I haven't seen any anything. And I certainly haven't seen my TDS GTN XI 750, and I miss it, I miss it so much. Okay, here we go. This is good. Let's go ahead and hang a left, make our uh, make our base leg right here. Boopsie. Don't descend that much. See, again, from this angle, 2,100 feet just looks really... Is it just me? This looks like we are crazy low like oh because come i'm looking at the wrong thing ha, 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 ha. i was looking at uh that higher ridge under where call of duty is but that's not the field the field is down here on this lower one okay so that explains why it looked like i was low but i ended up being high on the first time around here am i right is this is the is the field down here somewhere wait no that's not the field the field's up there. Well, it's it's going to be a much more interesting uh, wing view replay <laughs> than I bargained for. I'm just so now I'm still really confused. So here we are, and 2100 looks really low. Okay, so that's good. Let's have all the flaps. Dear Lord, how embarrassing. So glad I streamed this so everyone could join in the reindeer games. Uh, yep, gears down. I don't. Oh, I don't have three green because there's nothing in the community folder. To uh, that's all the flaps. That's all that. It's time for speed breaks because we are too fast. Um, okay. Well, we're just gonna. Just gonna. We're just gonna. We're, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Okay. Oh, I'm worried, but uh, flare, no, Fl a float instead of a flare. It's not a very long runway. This could be a problem. That was a little firm. We're still going very fast. I wish we had beta, but we don't. No, we're fine. We're fine. Let's clean up the flap. So we're almost not fine. Whoa, 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 my brakes. Whoa. Suddenly, my brakes <laughs> seemed to lose all their effectiveness. That was exciting. Okay, definitely got a major uh, heart palpitation out of that one. Okay, and there's Tyro down right behind us. Welcome on in. Ah, thank you, Sleazy. I appreciate it. appreciate those a great deal. Uh, okay. So yeah, man, look how look how steeply uphill this is. I I did re I, in in my reading about this airport in preparing for this flight last week, uh, even though it didn't happen, I did read that uh, four is preferred because of the 
uh, the steep slope. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? I don't know. We'll just... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Sleazy, I think. <laughs> I think so. And so um, the, the gorgeous uh, Avalon Airport uh, in the sim, that's part of the base sim, is that right? Am I still going to see that even though... Um, empty community folder, I think. Uh, I think we are. And is this the turnoff right here? I think it must be. It's not that big a field to have multiple uh, turnoffs. So let's head on uh, in here. And uh, thank you, Stream Elements, for reminding people. Yes, it is. It's it's base. It's empty community folder, base sim, <laughs> handcrafted airport. That's nice to know because they really did a. They really did an excellent job uh, handcrafting this uh, this airport. What I don't know is where the parking area is, but oh look, there's a there's somebody to uh, somebody to assist. Is is that right? Is this somebody here to assist? Can I move in his direction? It looks as if I can. Oh, but I'm not. Hang on a sec. There we go. All right. Is he going to marshal me? You might think he would marshal me, but I guess not. Is there a marshal out here somewhere? I guess not. Well. I added myself a button. Because sometimes these guys, if you get, I guess if you get the right person on the field, sometimes they will marshal you uh, and so I created myself a little button for when they do so if he were like raising his cones now <laughs> that that would be that would be for when for when he crosses the cones at the top there okay parking brake on let's see what else have we got uh, what else have we got to do here I don't know. We could come out here and uh, see where Tyro ended up. Hey, there's Tyro lined up perfectly. Oh, Tyro! Tyro, you vanished! Well, let's have one of us with the, the airport in the background will be nice. Uh, somewhere over there like that. Let's see. That's pretty nice. Too bad we have Cal of Duty in the background there, but although, okay, I, I like it. Cal of Duty, that's fairly clever. I'll take it. Okay, there we go. The screenshot, and then over here for the thing, and the paste, and the send, and yes, there we go. And then, do we maybe want one like, what happens if we look at this, say, from kind of like from the tower? I kind of like that, too. Airport in the sky. All right. Yep, definitely. Definitely worth two snapshots in the family album for this pretty place. All righty. Hey, Scotty. <laughs> Scotty, 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 Scotty. Are you ready? Oh, my gosh. It's like 2 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I know. I know. I'm ready to wrap this up. Uh, I don't suppose Scotty's live already, uh, is he? I could look over here. And see, we could, of course, uh, soft raid Scotty if he's not uh, already live. Oh, did I mean? Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. And, uh, nope, we gotta go out of there. Then I can come out here. And then go like that. And uh, I am not. 
seeing Scotty live yet. Scott's Arcade is live, but not Scotty Too Hotty. Okay. Um, why don't you do a flight from Catalina to Santa Monica while you're waiting for Scotty? Um, why not run down to the store and uh, buy a new aftershave and see if that changes your luck? Because... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, def definitely not doing another flight. Uh, but, uh, we could, uh, <laughs> rude to say the least. Almost as rude as, uh, strong arming someone who didn't want to stream into streaming for, uh, has it been, has it been, it's been, a, it's been a while too. Yeah, it's been more than two hours, two and a quarter already. Um, ooh, giveaway coming up very soon uh if you have not typed exclamation point ticket into the chat to get yourself entered in the giveaway please do so now to fail to do so would be rude um hey, i'm glickman thank you so much i appreciate your uh, appreciate your uh, your input there um <laughs> um well, let's see. I guess could, we could switch to um, like the fastest plane I have with a and, and one that has a glass panel, and do Catalina to Santa Monica that way. I guess I'm I'm game for that. Definitely done with VORs for the day. Wait, Scotty is live. Oh, well then maybe I. Uh, that would be even better because if that's the case, then I would have showed my willingness to comply further with you know who, while not actually having to do it. Uh, did I just miss? <sighs> Sim Caesar, thank you so, so very much for the $5 tip. Totally unnecessary and deeply appreciated both. Thank you so, 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 so very much. So why do I need to refresh my browser window? Oh, speaking of browser windows, I did uh, install Chrome yesterday and uh, get all my favorites uh, transferred uh, over. And so, in other words, everything that I'm, I'm used to, like having in a particular place to grab quickly in Edge, <laughs> it's now in the same place for me to reach and grab quickly uh, in Chrome. Um, and so I had about 24 hours of uh, Chrome behaving perfectly. Uh, and so I thought that that, you know, okay, well, that weird little thing was just an edge thing where, because what was happening was just out of the blue, poof, it would be, you know, the website I was looking at would be gone and it would just be a gray screen with a message saying, you know, so this is so you, you, your web, you know, website is temporarily unavailable or something like that. And then I just refresh and it would come back. So a good 24 hours in Chrome, nothing like that. But then just after I started the stream today, the 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 browser window I was using to uh, to have the mod panel in, I looked up and there it was with Chrome's version of the same message saying the website you're in, blah 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 is not available blah blah blah, so uh, so there was that. All right, so Scotty's live, so that means we are gonna do the giveaway, uh, and then we're gonna go raid Scotty. Uh, excellent. That means I'm going to do this. Wait, what? Okay, no. So don't do that. Do, no, stop, 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 stop. Okay, there we go. This can... Oh, that's... I almost forgot about uh, doing the... Uh, oh my gosh! Pazzy! <laughs> Pazzy, are you still here? <laughs> uh, I, I, I forgot about Pezzy having redeemed the uh, 1960s Mooney TV ad. Uh, point redeem. Pezzy, I'm so, so very, very, very sorry. I'll be happy to do that now if you're still here, but I'm not going to play it if you're not here to watch it after you paid for it. I could just refund your, your points and we could do it uh, another time. Uh, Pezzy, are you here? Calling Pezzy, Pezzy going once, Pezzy going twice, Pezzy going three times. Is there a... Uh, do I have a there's a... I'm not seeing Pezzy in the chat, so why don't we could do the uh, the replay uh, first and then check in on Pezzy again. And then at that point, if there's no Pezzy, I can just refund the points and we will do it next time. 
So yes, continue getting tickets for the giveaway by all means. Uh, well, I do, let's see, this and this and that. And uh, then this and that. And then we should be able to get, uh, we'll do that and this. And then from there, we should be able to do something like this. That landing was not pretty. I'm not uh, all that thrilled to watch a repeat of it, but what are you going to do? So uh, then let's see. We'll go uh, here, here, uh, then uh, I'm going to make sure I'm clicked over here before I go there, and then we can come around here. Somewhere right around there ought to be good. Maybe just a little more like this. Yeah, that's probably good right there. Let's see what we get with that. So then from there, I can do this. And then we should be able to do that. Oh, we are. Okay. And then we can do this. And that. Alrighty. Oh, boy. He's fast, definitely fast, and oh, that downslope, look how downsloped this is. Oh, floaty, floaty McFloat boat. Oh, but the touchdown itself, not bad, not bad at all. Then, uh, how did we do down here? <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see, we're going to go back to here, and back. Hang. Okay, where is that actual touchdown point? I think we kind of want to be about here, so let's go back here, and then... Here and let's look at it from oh no 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 bum ba dum bum ba reset then like this and then like this yes so I do think I want to see that from this side but I also think I want to see it from come on what's with the Try this one more time. There we go. And this. And a little bit of that. Let's see what that gets us. Okay. Uh, so then we go here and this. And then like that, yeah, and that, okay. I just am interested in a, I just want to, oh wait, you know what, oh, da, 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 da. I also wanted to see what it looked like slowed down a little bit, because it looked mighty floaty to me. Oh, and there my, my new Chrome window for my stream manager uh, also just bit the, uh, Bit the bit the thing. So yeah, this downslope is killing me. But the touchdown itself, really not all that bad. Okay. So then I think we want to go here. And can I do this? I think I can, yeah. Um and then maybe uh, just a little more like that. Then we can go, uh, what, we can do this, and this, and I think a left wing is going to be where to look at it from. Oh, look, we're going to get the whole sort of, uh, uh, we're going to get uh, downwind to base to false final to panic extended base to real final <laughs> this this should be pretty interesting and i'm going to accompany it by you know i usually do show tunes because they're my favorite but there was a song uh that i heard for the first time in my life let's see it's a 
uh, it's like a 35 year old song so written a full 12 years before Sim Caesar was born that I had never heard before uh, by a very popular artist who's well I was about to say who's some of his other work I really like but I don't want to confess that because if I do it'll turn out to be another popular 20th century male performing artist who Sim Caesar hates but <laughs> I'd never heard this song before and it was just it just I don't know I find probably I'm the only person on the planet who doesn't isn't familiar with the song I'd never heard it before it was just an, an incredibly powerful experience right I mean like the first eight bars is just piano chords and by the by the time those eight chords had played something very powerful was welling up inside me and then the lyrics uh, you know, by the by the by the end of the first verse, the waterworks had had had, had completely opened up, and I it was basically a puddle on the floor by the end of it. And uh, and I'm sorry, Sim Caesar, to say it wasn't one of yours, but the person who sang it had I a, b both a lovely voice and an, an excellent singing voice, uh, and a, a voice that was really ideally uh, ideally suited to this song. In particular, I thought so. At any rate, uh, and and if all that weren't bonus enough, the both the title and refrain of the song uh, are are just perfectly apt to this um, rather uh, interesting approach <laughs> to this to this field. Uh, so uh, that I'll, I will just I will stop talking now. I will switch to the wing view replay view to get me out of here and turn off the airplane sounds so that we only get the music and then i think with that it is time to uh get this over here yeah so please enjoy the wing view replay into uh santa Can santa catalina
Well, wasn't that lovely? Oh, well, it was it was lovely, but not so lovely that we're going to repeat it, I don't think. Yes, indeed. So I, I, th I think, and so it goes, and so it goes, is the, is the perfectly apt accompaniment to that, uh, that approach, that silly, silly uh, approach. So it definitely, it definitely went, that approach did. All righty then. Thank you for sticking around this far. <laughs> oh, Sim Caesar. Oh, so, so, so witty, Sim Caesar. Oh, so, so very witty. Um, let's see. I think that means it's time for me to say thanks to some wonderful people for their support of the stream today and then to uh, do the giveaway. So last chance coming up for, um, oh, Cyber Whiskey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, uh, I, uh, let's see. Um, uh, uh, right. Please go ahead and uh, get yourself a ticket if you have not already. Exclamation point ticket into the chat. Uh, while I say thank you to uh, some really, really delightful uh, folks. Uh, beginning with Monster, who kicked off the stream with a 100-bit cheer. Thank you so much. Uh, that was even before we got the... We got Sim Caesar's massive raid of 69 viewers. Then we got a bit cheer of 100 from Tyro. Uh, Scotty resubscribed for 18 months. We got a new follower in uh, DH Paradox. Always love uh, when new folks follow. And then uh, Sim Caesar uh, with a $5 tip. And then, because I forgot to switch back to the right scene. <laughs> Uh, we uh, did not get to hear uh, Tyro uh, cheering 380 bits. Thank you so, so very, very much, Tyro Goth. Absolutely. Oh, it was a massive hard raid. Absolutely. Fortunately, I was able to go live in time to be hard raided, uh, whereas uh, blah, blah, blah. Some, something, 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 something. Uh, let's see then what we got. Uh, there we go. That will be just lovely. So thank you again so, so very much for all your support today. Thank you for just being here as well. Uh, that's uh, a big, big part of what makes it worth doing this. Uh, can I squeeze the tower in there without losing? No, just barely. Um, why, why is it so big? Um, that looks better. <laughs> uh, that lets me do this and this. Excellent. All right. So in just, thank you. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, so in just a moment here, I am going to click this close giveaway button. And once I have clicked this, you will no longer be able to get yourself a ticket. There are only 20 people entered uh, out of 42 people watching. It's difficult to believe that more than half the people here don't like free stuff. Dave with a ticket. No, Dave already had a ticket. Okay. Well, at any rate, oh, you know, when Thalo is back, that's good to see. Uh, all right. So we are going to close this giveaway as soon as I can find my drum roll button. There it is. The giveaway is about to close. What? Something's happening. Hey, Orion27. Welcome on in and thank you for following. Appreciate the new follow. A great, great deal. Thank you so, so very much. Uh, did you, uh, Orion027, did you get yourself a ticket for the giveaway? Type exclamation point ticket and enter that in the chat. That'll get you entered. Uh, we're going to give away a free sub to the channel, or if the winner is already subscribed here, I'll gift you a sub to any channel on Twitch, provided you pick a channel that offers subscriptions and to which you're not currently sus subscribed. So, say that three times fast. How did I lose Tyros? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but that'll have to do. Um, okay, so I am going to close this giveaway very soon. Uh, by clicking this button, if I can find the right mouse. There we go. It's that button there. And it's this drum roll down here. Giveaway is going to close in uh, three, two, one. Uh, boom. The giveaway is over. Oh, Tyro. Tyro and M. Glickman Sleazy, how do you, why do you people torture me like this? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, so Tyro. 
It's too busy laughing to get a ticket. Well, that's, you know, uh, that's, that's, that's the first good excuse I have ever seen from anybody for why they failed to get a ticket is because they were laughing too hard. Uh, so that makes, you know, that makes, that makes it all better. All righty then. Uh, in that case, it is time for us to draw a winner and find out who today's lucky free gift sub recipient is. The free gift sub goes to... Katie Patton! Congratulations! Are you here, Katie Patton? Let me see if Katie Patton is currently subscribed. Subscribed. <laughs> Katie, you have, you have, oh, gifted to a non-sub. Katie, that is so generous of you. Thank you so, so very much. So, I don't have any fancy way of doing that like some people, some streamers do. Uh, you are subscribed. All right, very good. Just double, do me a favor, double check behind your ears because that's very, uh, very important. Uh, okay, so I don't have any fancy way of doing that other than to just keep drawing until we find uh, somebody who is a non-sub. So let's do that. Uh, first attempt at a non-sub uh, winner is Nige B. Nige definitely a subscriber. I really kind of I gotta I have to I have to check because it's not. It could have expired. Uh, I don't think it did. But oh, and of course that window's not set up to. Well, give me one quick moment here. If a center of gravity were here, he has a quick way of checking, and I should probably get him to. Uh, teach that to me. Oh, wait, Pezzy. Did Pezzy ever show back up? Uh, that's uh, just that we'll do that on the side here. Let me go to, uh, there we go. There's this. And then I can come out of that so I can get a subscribe button. No, I don't want you. Yes, I do want you. Then specific Nige B. Uh, <laughs> And I'm thinking it's going to tell me. Uh, right. Yep. So, Nige is current. That's excellent. Pezzy, you're here. So, we did not do the... Uh, the. Um, I completely forgot after we landed about doing... Well, actually, it was not all that long after we landed. But after we landed, <laughs> when, I, when I checked, I didn't, didn't see it here. So, so we, can either, we can either run the Mooney TV ad, the 1960s Mooney TV ad... Uh, we can do that now, or I can refund your points, and we could do it uh, tomorrow. I, I leave it entirely up to you. Um, list type episode time for some Simsy trains, Peter's Python lessons. Ah, tomorrow's okay. Okay, in that case, let me. So I will go over here right now and refund your points. Just check your point balance now before I do the refund, and then we can just. Well, that way we can make sure that they get refunded. Okay, so here comes the refund. And then there... Oh, complete freedom with a three-month uh, resub. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that a great deal. Yay. Oh, and oh, Orion27 did get a ticket. Uh, that's good. I, I forgot to look at that. But okay, so uh, Pezzy, that should be your points. Well, yeah, I know that's there's everybody's got a lot of points. Okay, so we will, but we will definitely, uh, definitely do that uh, tomorrow. I'll be looking forward to that. So again, um, good amount of points. Someone, a song for a wing. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's Dave. That's a. Uh, Boy, if only Ascended Gravity were here, <laughs> he would he would write that down for me. I'm just going to copy that, and then if I can find the window where we keep our notes, it should be over here. Oh, but it's not Edge now. It's, that's that's going to be the main trick here, is is remembering to look for uh, a Chrome window rather than a an Edge window when I need to go over there. Okay, so here we are with the paste. Uh, okay, well, that's that will that will have to do for now, and I think it will. Um, okay, so why that looks so weird, I don't know. Okay, we are oof, pardon me, we are now ready to uh try to draw again. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's back to that. Let's draw again, see if we can find a non sub to give this uh subscription to. Pezzy, you're currently. Sub. I'm looking at you right there. Yes, that's that is a sub badge, right? The pink with the thing. Uh, we'll double check. Uh, you you would think I might know 
what my own. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's not. Pezzi's uh, not subbed. And so now, in addition to, in, compens- in compensation for not getting the TV ad played, congratulations, you are the winner of today's. Yeah, yeah, Tyro, I'm sorry. We're, we're going to go, we're going to go raid Scotty right now. So this, this can go, and that can go, that can go. We don't need any of this, that. Let's see. So yeah, in fact, uh, so thank you to um, Scotty and Sim Caesar and Monster for modding today. I will probably be on my knees apologizing uh, at length to Ascended Gravity for streaming without giving him a heads up. Uh, but uh, that's uh, just, you know, the way. And so it goes, and so it goes, and we're the only ones who know. Okay, so with that said, with that, with that song, <laughs> I'm going to hit this button, which I think should start a raid if I spelled it right. Yes, there's the correct logo. So um, that is happening. I am going to go ahead and... Uh, say thanks again for being here see you in scotty to hottie stream in just a moment uh look forward to seeing you tomorrow noon pacific 3 p.m eastern uh for my regular thursday stream uh which will follow uh be followed naturally by sim caesar's thursday evening stream ga thursday much fun will be had by all that i'm sure scotty will be back on friday sim caesar back saturday night this coming sunday was the japan fly along on the sim caesar channel Look forward to seeing you at any and all of those. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, bye. Bye, goodbye. Oh, where's the button? I can't find the button. There it is. Goodbye.